Hey there, this is a Trundle counter video intended to fill you in on everything you need to know to deal with Trundle when he's on the opposite team. So first off, what does Trundle do? Trundle is a bulky bruiser thriving on draining enemy stats. Trundle is great at disrupting with his pillar of ice, especially in choke points. And Trundle functions great as a frontliner, able to soak damage and dissuade would-be divers. Let's hone in on some of his strengths and weaknesses. Trundle's strengths are that he has high single target damage, which is accentuated by his ability to drain his enemy's resistances with his ultimate. Trundle's pillar can cripple enemies with a slow, while also providing impassable terrain which can block chokes or even pin enemies against walls. Trundle's Q bolstering his AD and his W giving him a ton of attack speed make him a powerful skirmisher and hard target to duel. As for his weaknesses, Trundle is a melee champion with no dash or blink, meaning he can often struggle to get in range to deal with longer ranged opponents. Trundle's pillar is incredibly effective against immobile opponents, but champions like Ezreal can easily circumvent it, which greatly limits Trundle's effectiveness. A lot of Trundle's tankiness comes from using his ult to drain stats. If Trundle doesn't have a tanky target with high resist to drain stats from, then he can end up feeling significantly squishier in teamfights. We're going to dive in specifically how to counter Trundle, but first here's an overview of the major tips that we'll be breaking down further in this video. First off, avoid getting trapped by his pillar. Trundle's pillar is great at blocking off chokes, and if you don't have a dash or blink available, you can be left in situations with no escape. Wait out his ultimate before investing damage. When Trundle pops his ultimate, he steals stats from his target. If he's used it on tankier champs who can boost their own resistances, he can steal a huge amount and become very hard to take down. It's not worth investing heavy cooldowns into him, and you should wait until it times out before looking to try to burst him down. Avoid fighting in his W. Trundle's W gives him increased healing, movement speed, and a ton of attack speed. Fighting him in it gives him a significant advantage, and particularly in the early game, where he's powerful in duels and has a longer cooldown, you should try and drag him out of it before looking to go toe to toe. Kite him. Trundle is melee range, and by keeping a distance and using peel to stop and gap closing, it can simply prevent him from dealing any damage. Trundle can smash through squishier targets by chomping down on them, but if he never reaches them, his value significantly drops. Respect his neutral objective power. Trundle has solid single target damage thanks to his attack speed and AD boosts. He also heals whenever he takes down an enemy, which includes neutrals like Dragon and Herald. This allows him to comfortably solo them and then basically heal to full afterwards, so ideally you want to catch him in the act when he's vulnerable. It's always good to think about when a champion is strongest or weakest. Trundle is strongest in the early game. His ability to drain targets AD makes him a powerful duelist, and his pillar is great at catching out targets, especially as even mobile targets tend to have longer cooldowns on their dashes at this point of the game. Trundle is weakest in the late game. He's still relevant at draining resistances from tanks and disrupting with his pillar, but at this point carries will shred through him and he struggles heavily with getting range of high priority targets. Let's look at Trundle's early game and how to deal with him. So don't try to fight him at this point. His Q deals insane damage level 1 and he can out duel most AD matchups. His W also provides a big stat boost and it gives him a lot of his dueling power. If he throws it down then back away to pull him off it or wait for it to expire. Avoid burning mobility tools before he's used his pillar. If you flash only to see the pillar block your path, then you'll be in a really bad situation. This is his most effective ganking tool, and being able to dash or blink over it limits its impact massively. Be sure to respect his passive healing. When an enemy of Trundle dies, he heals for a percentage of their max HP. This includes jungle monsters, and as a result, he can heal massively when finished off a Herald or Dragon. If he's close to finishing one, then be aware his low HP could just end up being a bait. Avoid dueling him in extended fights. His Q steals your AD away and as a result turns things massively in his favour. Either look to burst him, take him out from range, or simply find a better window to fight as he's the king of melee fights at this point of the game. Onto the mid game, at this point Trundle could be a pretty hard opponent to deal with. He's pretty bulky with his ultimate and dishes out a bunch of damage to once again avoid getting too close unless you're confident you can take him down. The team fights kick off. Be really cautious about playing around his pillar. Not only does the terrain cause issues, but the slow also means you can get easily caught in big AoE when you're trying to move around it. Trundle can also use this ability to peel for his carries or make picks on opposing high value targets. If you're one of the tankier members of his team, then respect his ultimate. Once he throws it down, you can quickly find yourself going from a mega tank to a pin cushion. When Trundle ults you, he steals stats based on your current armor and MR. If your resistance is buffed by something like Aftershock, then even after it phase, Trundle will still be stealing based on the buffed percentage. You can find yourself being extremely squishy as a result, so make sure not to overcommit when trying to rely on your tankiness. Finally, into the late game. At this point, he isn't as much of a threat to be respected in terms of destroying you in melee range, unless he's fed or, you know, don't belong in melee range. Try and avoid pumping too many cooldowns into him when he's ulted, but otherwise look simply to shred him down as you would with any tank. 
Just remember that Trundle is incredibly prone to kiting. You can keep him at range and laugh as he struggles to actually really do anything in teamfights. Unless he's incredibly far ahead, he can only really be effective here if his team has lots of tools and crowd control to enable him to get in close and deal damage. Trundle can gain a lot of momentum in teamfights when taking down opponents. If a bulky tank on your team falls, he can heal a significant amount from his passive. Don't be caught off guard, as especially in tandem with Triumph, he can go from nearly dead to fairly healthy in a moment. Let's talk a bit about itemization that works well against Trundle. First off, percentage penetration. Trundle tends to get pretty tanky. Often he'll stack up HP first, but due to his ultimate stealing resistances, he's always going to end up with a bunch of them in a fight. Percentage penetration is a great answer to cut through him. Healing reduction. Trundle gets a decent amount of healing from his passive and ultimate, but his W also increases his healing received, and he'll often itemize into sustain options. Cutting this down can make a huge difference in reducing his survivability. Mobility items. Trundle's pillar is a pain to get around. There are a few items which can help you circumvent it. Gale Force and Proto Belt won't get you over the pillar, but can help you move around it, and the movement speed from Shirelia's is a great tool to counteract a slower bit of pies. That wraps everything up for a Trundle counter video. If you enjoyed this video, then you can find more counter videos on our website on the playlist link below, and be sure to subscribe to be alerted for when we cover a new champion. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again.